Hello everyone, just what you didn't need in your life, more games potentially to bolster your backlog. In our midweek sales series we do every couple of weeks where the sales are 50% off or more. Yep, don't forget if you're looking for eShop credit to pick any of these up, you can get that via our website switchup.gg and you get yourself 5% back in cash back. Also, if you'd like to win a copy of Kingdom Come Deliverance, just uh, leave your normal comments below. All right, what are the games that are 50% off or more, bar maybe one? Well, let's find out. Let's start with a game from the sponsor of today's video being Cryptstalker. This is an 8-bit retro styled arcade game, very similar to, uh, to Castlevania or other platformers of that ilk from that era, and sees you taking on the role of Gladys, one of the descendants of the world's defenders, who need to stop demons before they unleash hell on the planet. Yeah, we've played a lot of this one, really good game. Gladys is a badass with a whip, <laughs> and she also has a pistol as a sidearm, and each stage has its own boss fight, but there's a ton of content here for the price, as we're about to tell you in a minute. You've got the main game, you've also got bonus stages, I think the Lost Level, something like that, and then you've got a B-side to the game, which is like a Game Boy version, D-Make. Yeah, exactly that. So, as Mark says, you have the original game, there's a casual mode if you want to try that too, which has more checkpoints. Then they have like the Lost sequel, I love it when games do that. And then, as you mentioned, they have that, that handheld a port, if you like, of a NES game. It's really, really quite clever how they've done that, and it does play quite differently. It really does. At the moment, on sale, it is just £1.79, or your regional equivalent, that you can see at the bottom of the screen, and that goes well into April. A big thanks to the publisher for sponsoring this episode. First up, we have Raji, an ancient epic, which you reviewed on the channel, Glenn. I did, yeah, I did a video looking at it. It wasn't a full review, but it's a game I have uh, since completed and very much enjoyed. It's a game, I would say, fuses elements of something like God of War, with perhaps the 2010s versions of Prince of Persia in terms of things like wall running. Good game this, it's had a good few patches since I played it too. Last year about, I don't know, six hours I would say. Definitely worth picking up this one. Yeah, I believe that was one of the first games from a small Indian team. I believe it was, and uh, from what I heard, I think the gentleman had to you know, sell his house and go through all sorts of hardships to obviously fund the game, and it's definitely paid off. It's a very nice game, really lovely aesthetic, really pulls on Hindu beliefs and ancient Indian mythology. Yeah, really well worth playing. Now I will say that this also did have a big patch after it came out and they actually tweaked and refined the gameplay. So yeah, very good in its best condition at the moment. That one in the American regions is 75% off down to $8.12. Next up then we've got Children of Malta. Doesn't need a load of introduction this. A great game. It's down 75% in the EU regions. What exactly is it? So it's uh, like a top-down roguelike almost, isn't it? That follows a family and uh, you kind of see those family bonds increase as you go through the game. This is one we reviewed on the channel, isn't it? And uh, I believe it was you and you, you very much enjoyed it. Yeah, it is. That Bergson family that you play as, they, they have their own house and like you, as you get new characters, new um, new members of the family kind of enter their rooms in the house. Right. And then you go out on runs, very classic roguelike in that sense, but they're actual stages, you know, so it's, it's kind of a hybrid. So it doesn't feel like pure just runs like something like Isaac. Yeah, it just has know. those elements of roguelike. It has those yeah. elements and, you, and being able to do it in co-op as well is, is a lot of fun. There are some nice little areas that you wouldn't expect. Like at one point you save this little wolf creature and then he comes and joins you. It's just a great game. I love the art style. I love that they went back and actually added in a brand new game mode that's very much like Hades. Um, completely free of charge. Um, so for this price, if you're in the EU region, that one is 75% off until April the 18th. Okay, next then we have Oninaki, which is from Square Enix and is one of their, their trilogy of games that they released, isn't it? Yeah, this is the third in that trilogy. It's funny because I played the first of them, that being uh, I Am Setsuna, yeah. which is a funny name. Well, because I always say Satsuma. <laughs> it's not that funny at all, is it? And then you played the second one, which was Lost Sphere. Yep. And then I played the third one, which is Oninaki, or on Oninoki, however you say it. And it's an interesting premise because these RPGs are very, like, macabre. Yes. You're trying to like help people pass over from death and like sometimes people have died and, and they haven't died well and there's like the ongoing, not haunting, but, but they know that that person hasn't passed over quite well and you, you're trying to go and help them. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite dark actually. 
but I do like it for that. Yeah, I've, I've played all three of these actually. Oh, have you? Since, yeah. Oh, I, right. I think Setsuna was my favourite, mm. but I do think this was probably second. And I did like, it was like a melancholy feel to it, wasn't it? Yeah. Whereas, it, as you say, it dealt with death and uh, helping people to, to have peace so that they can pass over properly, all the while being obviously an RPG. And uh, yeah, decent game. It, you know, it has, has some flaws, maybe a little bit clunky, but for what, 70% off, I believe it is at the minute. Yeah, good one. Worth picking up. Then the polar opposite in terms of atmosphere would be something like Guacamelee 2. Now, you should probably play the first one first, but I did love the way this one started. You, you, you're like washed up. Have you played the sequel? I played it on the Wii U, I believe, if it was on that. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, why well, are you like a, a, what, a Lu 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 Luciador or something? I Lucador, I yeah. Lucador, yeah. And you start out quite washed up, and, uh, and if you don't know these, they're Metroidvanias, but with the twist, I guess, that co-op is maybe the best way to play them or an equal way to play them which is quite kind of unusual isn't it yeah i would uh it is certainly a metroidvania but it, it almost has like beat em up elements to it at times mm. where you get locked in rooms with enemies yeah. and it has a bit of like precision platforming you have to use your skills to get up and there's a lot of verticality it's not just about unlocking new areas yeah. you know so it's quite a nice hybrid and a fun game actually and funny yeah yeah, yeah. it's got some humor to it that one's 75 percent off taking it to just uh, around four quid until March the 24th. Europe sees its biggest ever drop on Little Dragon's Cafe, taking it down to, again, about four quid. I think it's like 90% off or something crazy. Yeah, 90% off as it currently stands. This is a game that I played you know, a fair chunk of, actually, and really enjoyed. It, again, it did have some flaws, but you can overlook those, I would say, for this price. Uh, the main one being the loading times were quite long, I seem to remember. But it's basically, uh, it's almost one, one of those like life sims. Mm. You, you run a cafe and you need to uh, create new recipes. You go out on runs to find the ingredients. So it's slightly different in that respect uh, because your your mum's not very well and you're running the cafe. And it ha does have the, I mean, the whole dragon part of it is that you have a dragon's egg and you need to bond with the dragon so that they grow and then they have mystical powers that may help your, your mum get better. Yeah. So it's just a, a nice charming story and it does have that mix of life sim with exploration and some battling as well yeah 90 percent off that's a great price although you will need to be quick with this one it ends on the 22nd of march the one that i mentioned that is 40 percent off then i think it's the only one is to the moon now i'd heard a lot of chatter about this one it's one of those ones that gets classed as a masterpiece you know the, the story yeah yeah we very we don't really use that language very often to be honest i think there's only maybe what one or two games i'd ever class as that mm. But this one is uh, is really interesting. You've basically got a couple of doctors, and, and again, it has that kind of Donnie Darko vibe to it. And they've got a patient that's uh, at the end of their life, and they they go back through his uh, through his story. I think I'll, I'll just read the little blurb here. It says, the story follows their attempt to fulfill the dream of an elderly man called Johnny. And with each step back in time, a new fragment of his past is revealed as the two doctors piece together the puzzled events over his life. So yeah, they just kind of go back. And by doing that, I think that, I, I, it's a difficult one not to spoil, you know what I mean? Mm. But by doing that, it has a big impact on the story. I don't want to say, because if anything I say will be a massive spoiler. Okay, okay. It'll be a huge spoiler. But the way it does those jumps is really clever. And it's also one of those, especially about our age, where you kind of like, it makes you think. Yeah, yeah. You know, it makes you think when you see the amount of jumps that have already taken place, I guess, for us. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, really, really interesting. Really interesting that the doctors kind of go into his past. I like that. It's quite cool. Very cheap as well. This one is 40% off at the moment until April the 1st. Then we have Layers of Fear 2, which is down to 85% as it currently stands. Uh, another game I finished and did enjoy. I think I preferred the first one, I must say. Uh, but with this sequel, you are on an ocean liner, I seem to remember. And as with that first game, you kind of start to delve into someone's psyche and you know, you'll see flashbacks of something that's happened in their past. What this one does have, which is fantastic, is the voice of Tony Todd, probably best known as Candyman, mm -hmm. uh, which really does add some gravitas to, to the game and to that creep factor because he's, he's got that, that, that wonderful voice. Um, it did introduce an antagonist chasing you, which I didn't mm. think this game needed or this series needed. Although you can play without it, which I, for me, kind of shows the developers maybe felt the same way. Yeah. You know, but yeah, worth trying this one for 85% off if you did enjoy the first or those kind of horror walking sims. And that ends on April the 9th. Yeah, and on that note, you can actually pick up the first game at the moment on sale as well for like a quid. Nice, yeah, so well worth doing it. <laughs> definitely worth picking that one up. All right, off the back of that then, again, we seem to be flipping from like one style to complete opposites. Okay. We've got Jenny LeClue Detective Who, which is like an old school 
point and click like adventure without having to point and click, I think, if okay. I remember correctly. Yeah, featuring Jenny, who goes to this town and then kind of gets embroiled up in this mystery and has to try and solve it. Really, really funny, well-written, very polished adventure game. Feels very much like something Double Fine would pump out. Um, pump out, it doesn't sound good, does it? So, like something Double Fine would make. And there is a sequel as well in the works. I would really highly recommend this to anyone that's in the American regions at the moment as it's on sale there. And it's on sale at 92% off until April the 1st. Then we have uh, three games we're going to mention together because they're of the same series. These are the Blaster Master games, the, the more recent Blaster Master games. So the first one, Blaster Master Zero, I believe it was called, was like a remake of that original NES game, which came from Sunsoft. And uh, this is a fantastic game. Like a Metroidvania Lite, I would class it as you play as a young boy. Very strange story. He goes looking for his pet frog who's jumped down a hole in the ground. He ends up on this planet uh, in this tank called Sophia. And the second and third games obviously take this new kind of reimagined version of this uh, series and, and, and move it on further still. Second game's actually quite different in terms of you travel to new planets and stuff. But all three games are fantastic. And at the minute, they're about £4 each, I believe. Yeah, being able to pick up each of those, I mean, you get the whole trilogy for like under 15 quid. Well worth it. They're on sale until March the 27th in all regions. All right, last of the air quotes expensive games before we look at a few Savaloys is Heidelberg 1693, which I remember you bringing up in an interesting games video. Yeah, I played this one recently, uh, finished it actually. A very, very tough game, like brutally tough at times. It's basically a, a pixel styled game, um, 2D platformer basically, where you're making your way across the stages. But the hook being that you can use your sword to attack, but you obviously have a musket, you're one of the musketeers, and you can use this against the enemies, but you have to reload it after every shot. And obviously this takes a while, it's quite a long animation, and you're incredibly vulnerable at these times. So it's all about when to use that shot. Very good game, like I really enjoyed this. I'm not one for, for hard games generally. I persevered with this one and, and you know, was very happy to do so. Down to 80% or 8% off, just under two pound euro. Unfortunately, it's not in the US, but yeah, for this price, this one's well worth picking up. Really good game. Okay, that takes us on to a couple of Savaloys then. These are games that are about the price of a UK Savaloy or less, about three quid or less. Super cheap. First up, we've got Cat Quest 2, which is down 80% off. It's a top down, almost plays like it's on the world map of a game. Um, action RPG, action adventure game featuring cats. Has a co-op mode as well, very good. Next up, we've got League of Enthusiastic Losers, which is an adventure game, and which was my little pickup for this video. I can't help myself every time. It's 80% off at the moment. And I've got to be honest, I picked it up completely because of the art style. Right. I like point-and-click adventures. I like the idea of one set in the 90s trying to recreate that. But also it has the twist that it's all set on the streets of the USSR Moscow. So yeah, interesting. I, I do like their little take on it. But yeah, I was just sold on the visuals. So I'll let you know if it's a, if it's really good. But from what I'd heard, it's worth picking up and at 80% off, yeah, good choice. Then you've got the Escapist Complete Edition. Do you know these ones? I played this on the PlayStation 4, the Escapist. Yeah, a decent series. Um, so yeah, you're basically go, going through the trials and tribulations of being in prison, aren't you? And, and having your daily tasks that you must complete all the while, obviously trying to craft items and whatnot to try and escape. Good games, they're 80% off. Smoke and Sacrifice Glen 1, you reviewed ages ago, 90% off at the moment, which describes itself as an open world narrative driven RPG where you're exploiting living ecosystems. Basically, it's like a survival RPG. There's been a few of these and I can't remember the name of the main one. Don't Starve, that's the one. Very much like that, isn't it? You basically have to sacrifice your newborn baby to like a, a god of the trees or something, the tree god. And um, upon giving your baby up, you decide you don't want to and you, you follow them into like the underworld to get them back. And as you say, it's like Don't Starve where you're, you're getting resources and, and crafting what have you to get through this very macabre and very brutal world. Yeah, it had some issues at launch, but it did receive a patch. And again, what, 90% off at the minute? Mm -hmm. Worth picking up. Finally then, we've got Old Treya, which is a point and click adventure again. You can see I went on a bit of a theme here, didn't I, when I was going <laughs> through these. This is less than a quid, 93% off. It has a few of the themes that just instantly catch my eye. It has that dark, rainy atmosphere. But a bit of ma machinarium. I don't know if you played that point and click game. Mm. Really good. It has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, you sent me some screenshots of this one, didn't you? And it's uh, definitely got, as you say, that dark, rainy cyberpunk 
look to it that I mean the screenshots look lovely to be fair for 90 odd percent off I think I'll have a look at this one so that's it that's the end of our list for this uh, this little midweek sales video let us know ones that you're interested in as I say we do have a copy of Kingdom Come Deliverance to give away yep again don't forget if you are looking to pick up any eShop credit you can get your eShop cards at our website switchup.gg and doing so will get you 5% of your purchase price back in cashback and there are some links down there to play asia and red art games where you can pick up some physical games and again there are discounts available five percent for play asia ten percent for red art quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos take care and until next time happy gaming